In the closing, uh, here Washington again is emphasizing purchase over war, peace over, over conflict. And Washington reiterated that this policy is both humanitarian, but still more Congress should think of it as a practical path forward. Uh, let me read this part, and, and um, uh, this is where he closes to, in his letter to, to James Duane as chair of the committee. I repeat it again, and I am in clear, and I and I am clear in my opinion that policy and economy point very strongly to the expediency of being upon good terms with the Indians, and the propriety of purchasing their lands in preference to attempting to drive them by force of arms out of their country which we have, as we have already experienced, is like driving the wild beasts of the forest, which will return as soon as, as, soon as the pursuit is at an end and perhaps fall on those that are left there. Uh, here again, he starts shifting in his language uh, from policy analyst to uh, his thoughts about uh, the, the, the nature of the peoples that he's engaging with. And it'll come up again in just a moment in the close. Attempting to drive out by force, though, he's, he's saying is inexpedient, doomed to fail. And Washington's letter in the close is, is jarring in its language, and, but also largely descriptive of U.S. policy in the early days. The gradual extension of our settlements will as certainly cause the savage as the wolf to retire, both being beasts of prey, though they differ in shape. In a word, there is nothing to be obtained by an Indian war but the soil they live on, and this can be had, this can be had by purchase at less expense and without bloodshed. <coughs> Importantly, these policy proposals uh, will shape Duane's and therefore Congress's posture uh, for, for the next few years during the uncertain period of the 1780s. Congress issued that proclamation to prohibit settlement, purchase of Indian lands without congressional approval, but it was uh, not entirely successful. And peace, not conquest, was very much the stated goal, even if the ultimate acquisition of the land on which the native peoples lived was also the goal. But that language uh, that the, the savage as the wolf uh, would retire uh, that comes through in Washington's language is something that, that underlies much of the U.S. policies in the, in, in the 1780s and the 1790s, these ideas that just the natural outcome of all of this will be uh, the, the, the removal west um, by uh, almost sort of a natural consequence of U.S. settlement. 